Yeah, I'm pretty much just going about everywhere and anywhere in this one. <laughs> this one here is, uh, I don't know, this is one of Rolly's other projects. I think it's a 47 coupe. Super rough. Uh, somebody's put it on a different chassis. So I'm thinking their idea was they were going to keep the floor pans, but run this modern chassis underneath it. So... I'm not sure if I'm digging the way it's set up, mostly because of the back wheels. I don't like how they don't quite fit into the wheel wells right. That could be alleviated by just by moving the wheel well back without having to alter the chassis. Maybe that's something they'll do. I don't know. But it's super rough. Like you can you see air on the inside of this sucker. It's got a little bit of light happening there. <laughs> but anyway, we brought it in. His um panel truck which is like the cool version of this one has uh the motors knocking and toast we don't know how long we're gonna get till we get to this car so we figure we should probably use this motor before it just goes bad from sitting so what we want to do first though is just fire it up make sure it doesn't have any weird noises or anything after that then we'll go pull it and we'll stab it into his truck there then at least he can go cruising this summer that is the plan. We got his wife's truck going, but we want to see if we can uh, get all the toys working. Okie doke. Now well, we're just about, Rolly's grabbing some spark plugs. I realize there's no guts in that distributor, so I pulled one out of the shed. I'm gonna put that in there. And I'm hoping I can find my distributor I used for priming it. Because if I gotta take the distributor out, I may as well try to prime the motor quick with oil <clears throat> before we fire it up and see if she works. That'd be a good test. <laughs> you don't need that camera. I only ran over it once before. <laughs>
Okie doke, after multiple attempts, we actually got her to run pretty good. Seems okay. I can't find my oil gauge to test the oil pressure, but it's not making any noise, so that's good. Pump's clearly working on there because it's, or on the uh, transmission because it's like dribbling down. But it idled, it's quiet, so we're all good with that. Uh, we're going to wait for them to come by. Let's see if it's going to be tonight or maybe tomorrow. We're going to pull the motor out at least, get the rest of the car out of the shop, and uh, we can get his panel in and start swapping that over or swap this into his panel. little bit of power steering mess there I just I don't know if you've seen what I did I put a bit of grease in there because I don't know how long it is till we get to that car but I just stabbed that into the power steering box we might use everything off this motor or we might drop that serpentine stuff back on not a hundred percent sure that's what's in the panel currently but the uh, motors out so I don't know if this Thursday we'll start ripping the motor out of his uh, panel or not but uh, the motor's out anyways, frees up some room in the shop for me. Well, the day has finally come that we're actually gonna do the motor in this panel. I think this motor pretty much packed it in a while ago, but we haven't uh, driven it at all, or at least Rolly hasn't this year. Mostly because he can't, because it is broken. It will not start anymore. Uh, so, yeah. Going to get it thrown in the shop, get it ready for, I don't know if it's tonight or when the plan is, but uh, basically get it ready for when we swap them over. So, I don't know how long it's been. It's been a few months since uh, we got the other motor running, so that's the donor motor to go in here. So anyways, let's, uh, let's get this to the shop.
Well, the guys have went off for uh, <clears throat> grab a bite to eat. I cut down this drive shaft because this transmission we put in is a short shaft, so it's too short. So made a new shaft for it. Uh, I think they got most everything buttoned up under here. They're just doing the power steering right now. Or they pulled the line off. They got to do the power steering. But uh, yeah, getting there. I mean, it's whatever. It's a straight up small block swap. So swap one for the other. Should be pretty straightforward. This tranny's still good. I just didn't. I know it leaks like crazy. So we weren't going to deal with it. So that's why we just ran the other one. Not really paying attention that it was a short shaft, so whatever. No big deal. I quickly buzzed up a shaft and we're golden there. So now, uh, yeah, I guess the guys will get everything all finished up up in the front. Hopefully fire it up, take it for a rip, see how everything goes. Well, that one's all done. Well, we got it all sorted out. Had a, a transmission leak and a fuel pump issue, but got that all sorted out so uh, now we can take her for a little rip I know a lot of people ask about this it's a friend of mine a buddy and I built this thing oh uh, man a long time ago it's basically stock chassis s10 clip uh, yeah like we modified made our own fuel tank I don't know, so everything's pretty self-explanatory. It's just the 305, three-speed auto. I think the running, the first running gear in here came out of an old Caprice. Inside, just the bench seat from like an ODB style truck. And uh, pretty Spartan, everything else. Rolly himself did all the dolling up, everything inside. So it's kind of got that going up front. I think he's kind of, Put the hardwood floor dealio in the back. More of the button tough. Going through. I think it's kind of forever going, but. Oops. There we go. But yeah, that is her. I guess now we'll go take her for a little rip down the road. And then uh, she's pretty much ready for fall cruising. He's got his roaster on the road this summer, so usually when the weather cools down, that's when we pull out our closed cars. Although I kind of drive mine all year round. He's got a roaster and he's got this thing. And then his wife has that blue truck with the, uh, the lace top that we did. All right, go for boot.
the next one.